Good evening, I'm Jerika Duncan. Lisa Flynn is off tonight. Despite the money meltdown in Albany, state parks across New York are open this Memorial Day, but open doesn't necessarily mean inviting. News Force Al Vodders is at live in the Web Center to explain. Jerika, the state parks open this weekend thanks to a last minute deal that diverted $11 million from New York's Environmental Protection Fund last Friday. Now, most users seem to be happy with the outcome, but we found some notable exceptions. What would Memorial Day weekend be without the state parks? Now, if the park had not been open, what do you think you would have done today? Um, I would have been weeding my garden. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Not really. <laughs> the beach at Beaver Island State Park was full of folks taking in the sun, sand, and picnicking. Gary Gregory, a veteran himself, was determined to take advantage of the great weather with or without the state parks. We need to keep our motivation up and come out and, and just be excited about living. And when things are taken away, we have to find other ways. This is one of the least expensive ways that we can come out and to enjoy our everyday living after, after working all day. While things were cooking at Beaver Island, Joseph Davis Park at Lewiston seemed to be a disappointment for Frisbee players and other park users. High grass and padlocked restrooms replaced by porta johns. The office is boarded up. This was Woodlawn Beach the day before the park's deal was reached. And it's open with parks officials saying an improved storm drainage system should reduce the number of days it's closed. Darien Lakes in Genesee County is not as fortunate. The beach there is closed indefinitely due to water quality issues. Water quality is not an issue at Beaver Island's marina next to the beach. But Beaver Island's other marina at Big Six Mile Creek is padlocked. It could be closed for the summer. Closed for repairs, and that's not setting well with Ron Fair, who, like the other boaters using the state marina, had to pay for their slips back in February. Well, they're telling me they got the materials on order, but no money to pay for them. And this is for repairing the docks. So they contend it's bad. We tried reaching a number of state officials to get an explanation of what these problems were at the state beaches. At the state parks, with this being a holiday, though, we were unsuccessful this time. But stay tuned. Alvarez News 4 at 530.